Well, those disposal days are actually the last days of summer, Jacob. You got that right, Alan. Uh, fall begins officially on September 22nd at 7.44 a.m. Uh, Sunday, September 22nd, about 13 days away. So we're in the home stretch here uh, until autumn officially begins, but we're still feeling like summer with temperatures in the 70s uh, still across the region. It'll be a warm night tonight. 77 right now in Bismarck, 78 in Dickinson, and there is a bit of humidity in central and eastern North Dakota. Dew points in the mid 60s in places like Bismarck, Jamestown and Devils Lake, drier air off towards the west, and we could still have a touch of humidity into our Tuesday with the hot temperatures. Not much wind out there right now, but there's a subtle wind shift from easterly winds to westerly winds, and that's along this uh, trough, we'll call it here in the atmosphere. That's uh, bringing in some of the smoke from the west, but also sparking a couple of very isolated showers in portions of southwest and south central North Dakota from Hedinger to Ma and then up towards near Glen Olin in western Morton County. A couple of lightning strikes here, but very isolated shower development is expected over the next couple of hours as that very weak system moves through North Dakota. Pretty quiet weather across the nation, except what's brewing in the Gulf of Mexico. And this is Tropical Storm Francine that could make a beeline towards Louisiana as a hurricane as we go over the next couple of days. But pretty quiet and calm weather for us, albeit with the heat and the wildfire smoke still in our forecast for tomorrow. So look for the hazy skies to continue. We're not going to squeeze much out of this uh, weak trough moving through tonight uh, in terms of precipitation. A warm start to your Tuesday with uh, low temperatures at about 60 degrees and will quickly rise into the 90s across our southern counties and into South Dakota. Uh, 80s towards Williston and northeast Montana behind this cold front moving through. So with the north wind, that'll start to push some of this smoke closer to the ground farther down to our south Tuesday night. But for tonight, look for the more of that wildfire smoke to be building in and temperatures to be quite warm at about 60 degrees to greet you out the door tomorrow morning. And then 92 is my forecast high in Bismarck, 94 in Mobridge tomorrow, 87 in Minot, but 82 in Williston, so a little cooler towards the northwest. A few clouds from time to time, but still an overall mostly sunny sky with the hazy sunshine, not only because of this wildfire smoke aloft that will continue to be thick from fires in Idaho and Oregon and some other states in the Pacific Northwest sending that smoke our way, but there will also be some of this smoke closer to the surface like some of our western counties have already been experiencing today with that smoke closer to the ground impacting air quality. Expect some more uh, reductions to air quality tomorrow morning region-wide. And then as that cold front slides through towards tomorrow evening, that'll push more of the wildfire smoke out of our region, and we should see improving air quality by Wednesday. That's also when winds kick up, and winds could be upwards of 35 miles per hour out of the southeast, especially by Thursday, Alan. Precipitation chances only at about 20 to 30 percent for Thursday and Friday as temperatures cool down closer to 80 degrees by next weekend. All right, and that's still fall, so that's that good. Is. Yep.